Welcome back everybody, Mike McConville here, Stratford, Ontario, Canada for String Tech Workstations. Everyone, here's our next candidate for the neck surgery. This one was dropped off this morning. We'll be doing a play-by-play -play on this, so keep in touch. This will be a great video for you guys. And we'll take it all in stride, piece by piece, and show you exactly how we do this. We got a nasty break. This one, of course, will be glued and sliced and spliced. Uh, we also have a uh, bucket head limited edition Les Paul. There aren't too many of these things out there. This is a 27 inch scale. Huge neck. There's a couple of little faint cracks here. The neck is not cracked. I've checked it thoroughly, flexed it. This is actually just cracks in the actual finish. So this side will be blown in and this side will be blown in. I've got it covered up with tape here because I'm doing a fret dress but there is a small crack in the clear finish. That's going to be blown in as well. Then we'll do the setup and uh, intonate it. This is going to be set up for uh, 10 to 52 strings. So there you go. It's an uh, unusual guitar. It's got the sort of kill switch. There's another kill switch up here as well. It's covered up with the mask for the fretwork. But uh, there you go. Gibson Buckethead Les Paul. Kind of new to me. One more broken Les Paul headstock. We'll slice it, splice it, blow it in. It will definitely be stronger than the day it was made. And that's it. Fret dress completed. No more jags, no more snags, no more barbs. And these are buffed right out to a mirror shine. I'm heating up the high glue for this Les Paul Special. We also have this uh, Les Paul Custom. So we're going to change that nut because that's definitely not the original nut. We'll be putting a compensated nut on that. As per usual, we'll be doing our fret dress at that neck to body junction. Yeah, that one's clicking and ticking. Definitely a high spot, no surprise, at the neck to body junction. This is actually one of those, what they refer to as a fretless wonder. They were very small frets to begin with, and I guess this is the idea, is to have a really low fret. Once again, not a matter of better or worse or right or wrong, it's just what you happen to like. Gotta like that headstock though. How can you not like that? Especially the gold hardware. Anybody up for a game of Hockey Puck Luthery? We'll definitely let that one glue overnight. Well, that was a full day's work. Compensated nut, fret dress at the neck junction, and then a full dress on this bursted custom. The input jack actually was, the wire was kind of twisted in there. I pulled it out and then reinstalled it. There was a couple of saddles I had to flip to uh, get the intonation to line up. We adjusted that tail piece as we always do to kind of clear the back of the bridge casting. And the pickups were a little bit too close on this one too. They were disrupting the, uh, the tuner. Uh, you can see the tuner wavering. I mean the pickups were just about touching the strings. So I've dropped them down presentable height and I always let it sit overnight and then I'll come back in the morning and sort of triple check it. This is 9 to 42 strings at concert pitch. We got our severed headstock back on. We're gonna let that set overnight. That's it for a Friday afternoon. I'm done. Have a great weekend everybody. We'll see you next week.